Hello everyone and welcome to more of the Hell Am I Playing? And today we're playing a game by Tech Magic. We are playing Steven Seagal is the final option. Now this game was requested of me and I knew very little about it. I only really knew it by name and I was under the impression it was just a kind of under the radar licensed game that never really went anywhere. But it ends up that this is a game that was never actually released. I don't know the entire story of what happened, but apparently Tech Magic and whatever companies they were connected with got the license to use Steven Seagal's likeness in some video games. And they thought it would be, you know, a way to make some money. But as as happens, deals fell through, the game had a lot of problems getting in development. And it never saw the light of day. But a handful, I think three, um, developer betas were made and were shown off at tech shows and expos and things like that. And eventually some people got their hands on them and made the game available, or what exists of the game available. Now I only played this enough to kind of get the hang of the controls to make sure it works. But we're going to give this a shot. Now I... let's take a look at options. Okay, we got access code up here, which I'm assuming is your kind of code to start off at different levels. Two players, normal. Doesn't look like I can change anything. can change them with the, what is this, the B button and the Y button. Change our lives, the number of continues. Alright, so let's just start the game. Alright, not bad. Kind of what you expect for a Super Nintendo game. Your first target is Nanotech's Underground Munitions Depot. Alright, so I guess Nanotech are our enemies here. Alright, Target 1, Stage 1. Oh, and look, we got digitized actors. I can chop, I can block, I can kick, I can, well, I could try to jump, that didn't work so well. Ooh, hang on, this is, this is loud. It's loud for me, I don't know if it's loud for you. Now, even though we got digitized actors, that is not actually Steven Seagal. That is a look-alike. Now, we move around left and right, up and down, and if I hit L and R, I can bring out his firearm, or some knives. Now, because the game is in beta, we have unlimited ammo. Terminal screen gives context-sensitive help. So yeah, if the game was completed, we would have been able to go to those computers and get clues as to what we were doing. Um, this doesn't play great. Doesn't exactly play bad. Doesn't play great. Oh, hello, Mr. Science Man. Don't hit me. I guess everyone's our enemy. Alright, boxes are in my way. Can I jump over them? Nope. Alright, how about this door? Music's okay. Repetitive. But fine for what they're going for. Alright, we gotta make this jump. Okay, we did it. Okay, I'm pretty sure all the computers are gonna tell us the same thing. 
and the enemies will spawn. Alright, you. I'm gonna shoot you. I'm not gonna shoot you. I'm gonna look at the computer. Alright, we'll try that again. Well, that makes life easy. Try to hit you with a knife. It's not working. <laughs> find out soon what happens when you run out of life. You know, it's very possible that nothing happens. Oh, I couldn't jump. Can I go under? There we go. Ugh. Steven's down. Okay, the heck is this? I guess I can pick where I want to respawn. Oh, cool, they kind of teleport me in. There's another one of you, wasn't there? No? Okay. And what does this button do? Okay, I guess I don't get to play with that button. Look, look at this! These guys are just keeping piles of bones. This is what I expect from like a like a medieval fantasy game. Knife? Yes, not. What are you? <laughs> it worked. Exit. Okay. All right. We're on stage two of Target One. Looks like all the computers say the same thing. No, 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 don't jump into the water. I mean, I don't blame you for wanting to. What are these? Can we pick these up? Oh! Good job. not. Well, I could pause the game. Oh, that wasn't great. Where does this take us? While we're here taking out the Orkin now, I wonder. This is a munitions depot, right? So there's. Oh! Heck is that? Well, it's, it's garbage now. Some little security robot. Probably an important item that we can pick up. But, you know, it's not a real game. Good work. Actually, I wonder if I could use this just to teleport back to the beginning. No, it seems you only teleport so far.
Well, I think I've had just about enough of this. So, we'll play it for a little bit longer, maybe see if we can clear the area. Hello, guys. Okay, at least that waterfall doesn't kill me. No, all in all, it's, it's not that bad looking. It's nothing special as far as gameplay goes. Like I said before, the music's alright, it's just re really repetitive. You know, you may have had something okay if this game actually had a chance to get finished. I don't think it would have been a big money maker or anything, but it could have been something to rent and enjoy. Now, it's also supposed to be two players. I don't know if two players actually is implemented, but I guess Steven was going to have a partner that was going to help him out. Curious how this would have worked as a two player game. Probably wouldn't have been great. Can you imagine that? Two players walking around this screen at the same time? Well, assuming it was two players at the same time. Ah! Could have always been like a Mario Brothers thing where, you know, first player is Steven and then second player is whoever, and then when you die. You switch the other one. Come here, science man. stage, actually. There's already a couple places where we can go back and check stuff out. I don't remember how many areas there were supposed to be. I think there were five. This is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not great. Don't don't get me wrong. But at the same point, we're playing a unfinished, uh, not even a demo. This is a beta. Cheesy. I hope the boss is cheesy as hell, like a like a giant robot. But you know, not like a uh, not like an android robot or a Terminator robot. You know, like a um, like a robot on treads that has two big fists. Did. 
Probably didn't, I'm just a blind idiot. Oh, look! Some health items. No, if we weren't effectively invincible. Oh, well, he picked that one up. Didn't pick up his ammo. No, don't want to get that one. Let's just kind of rush our way through the stage. Well, so much for that. Thank goodness for teleportation. Pardon me. Now, I'm pretty sure we explored all the way up here, didn't we? Well, yeah, we were up over here. Well, it is an unfinished game. It's very possible that there is no way to beat this level. Yeah, we flip that switch. Yep, we just jump past everybody. Yep, we came this way too. Alright, well... We've already given this game more time than it deserves. So, this was Steven Seagal's, or rather, Steven Seagal is the final option, a unfinished Super Nintendo game. So, thank you for watching. Alright, we're back at the title screen, and I think if we press select, we can get a, we can get a, what do you call it, a stage select. Nope, I guess not. Maybe it's at the beginning of the stage. Yes, if we hit select, we can select which world we want to start at. 
Yeah, there are. Whoa, there's like six. Well, let's start at one, stage three. All right, we'll check out just a little bit of this stage, especially if there's a boss. Remember, there's a door back here. Arg! Maybe I should use my gun more often. Alright, electrified fence. Security guards. Orkin men. said I should probably go in front of the items a little bit, see if I can pick them up. I guess not. Oh! oh. Alright, that's enough of that. I can't pick anything up, so what does it matter? I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I think I pressed down NB. Try that for the next item and see. Gate. Oh, hello. So apparently they got upset. They got upset that I was shooting people. And this guy with a gun showed up. Now that's actually not a, a half bad idea. Sort of an interesting game mechanic there. The more aggressive you get with the enemies, the more aggressive they're going to get with you. Yeah, I guess so. If I press down and B, that's how I pick them up. Now that's assuming that the, the, uh, the guys with guns showed up. Uh-oh. We got a timer. The room is all hazy. Gotta be quick. Alright. Run, man, run. Run. I don't know, is, is it the room too hot? Is it full of poison gas? Okay, that gate is still going. That one is not. You know, I'm kind of surprised we've put this much time into the game. I mean, I was ready to call it quits just a few minutes ago.
Yeah, I guess I guess this could have been a legit game. Well, shame it didn't work out. Exit. Well, let's before we go in the exit, let's check this room out. Crates, lots of them. No, I wonder if maybe we were supposed to set bombs or something. And look at us just walking through them. Brilliant. <laughs> Could this be any more of an appropriate way to end this game? Alright, well that's enough. That's enough of Steven Seagal as the final option. Thanks for watching, everybody.